muted. Good morning, good morning, good morning. And happy Friday to us all. This is the day the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. We do welcome all callers this morning. We welcome all. We welcome back our faithful and returning callers who join us Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. every day. We do welcome you. We do not take your commitment to God first lightly we welcome all first-time callers we thank you for joining us those that are joining us via facebook live and those that will join us later either via via facebook live via callback number or via youtube channel we do welcome all callers it it we do not take it lightly that you just that you join us on this war cry line We're going to do a quick recap for the week of January 21st. The war cry focuses for this week are on Monday, our prayer warrior went before the throne of grace and laid her supplications at Daddy God's feet. And the war cry focus was prune, prune, cut away what is unwanted. And our Tuesday devotion reading was titled, Don't Settle for Less. On Wednesday, our prayer warrior went before our daddy God and laid her supplications at his feet. And the war cry focus was forgiveness. Not just forgiveness, but God's word. We can trust God's word. And in order for us to look at that mountain and tell that mountain to move, we must believe first. We declared and decreed that my prayer life is an effective prayer life. And on Thursday, yesterday, our prayer warrior went before our daddy God, and she laid her supplications at daddy God's feet. Um, and the war cry focus was mental illness is real. We declare and decree we will have love, compassion, and discernment with those who suffer with a mental illness. And today, today, Friday, we be- we will go before that God's throne of grace and we will lay our supplications at his feet and the war cry focus for today will be spiritual energy the biblical definition for spiritual energy the inherent power to do work or create change i'm going to read that again the inherent power to do work or create change the death the webster definition is the strength and vitality required for sustainable su- sustained physical or mental activity i'm going to read that again the webster de- definition is the strength and vitality required for sustained physical or mental activity the word of god is coming from acts i'm going to be reading chapter one And I'm reading verses 6 through 7. I'm sorry, 6 through 8. And I'm reading in the New Living Translation. Again, that's Acts chapter 1. I'm reading verses 6 through 8. And I'm reading in the New Living Translation. And the Word of God reads. So when the apostles were with Jesus, they kept asking him, Lord, has the time come for you to to free Israel and restore our kingdom? He replied, the father alone has the authority to set those dates and times, and they are not for you to know. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, through Judea and Samara, and to 
the end of the earth. My question to us all, what type of spiritual energy do you bring when you walk into a room or a current situation? Father God, we do thank you right now. We thank you, we praise you, we honor you, we worship you, Father God. We thank you for another day of life this morning, Father God, a day that we will never see again, Daddy God. We ask this morning that you would use us for your glory, oh God. Father God, we thank you for tapping us on our shoulder this morning and telling us to arise, my daughter, arise, my son. I have work for you to do on this day, Father God. Father God, we reverence you this morning. We magnify your holy name in spirit and in truth, Father God. We thank you for being our Lord of Lords and our King of Kings and the Lord and Savior over our lives, Father God. Father God, we thank you for being Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, Father God. We thank you for being the author and the finisher of our faith, Father God. We thank you this morning for being our solid rock, our firm foundation, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that we can count on you, Father God. We can count on your promises, Father God, which are yea and amen, Father God. Father God, we thank you for the forgiveness of sin, Father God. Father God, we thank you for your word that tells us, Father God, that your mercies are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you don't hold yesterday's mistakes yesterday's sins over our head, Father God. As long as we confess our sins to you, Father God, and ask for forgiveness, Father God, you shall forgive our sins, Father God, and throw them in the sea of forgetfulness, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you are not a God that will condemn us, Father God. You are a God that convicts us, Father God. So we thank you for the conviction, Father God, not condemnation, Father God. We thank you, Father God, that you, Father God, continue, Father God, to love on us unconditionally, Father God, not based on what we do or what we don't do or what we say or what we don't say, Father God. Your mercies are new every morning, Father God. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your grace. We thank you, Father God, that you continue to hold your arms wide open for us and say, come in, my daughter. Come in, my son. In spite of our filthiness, Father God, we know, Father God, that our righteousness, Father God, is like filthy rags unto you, Father God. But yet you stand there as the good daddy God that you are and you welcome us in, Father God. And for that, we say thank you, Father God. We don't take it lightly, Father God, that no matter what we say, Father God, or no matter what we do, Father God, that you love us unconditionally, Father God. No, that does not give us the green light to sin on purpose, Father God. But we just want to say thank you for your unconditional love, Father God. We thank you for Jesus that died on the cross for our sins and rose again, Father God, three days later, Father God, that we may have eternal and everlasting life, Father God. So we thank you for that this morning, Father God. We ask that you would forgive us for our sins, Father God. Everything that we have thought, everything that we have said, everything that we have done that was unpleasing in your sight, Daddy God. Wash us, cleanse us, purge us with your hints up this morning, Father God. Create in us a clean heart this morning, Father God. Renew a right spirit within us this morning, Father God. Let us let go of the stony hearts, Father God. Make our hearts pliable, Father God, to the word of God, Father God. Let us not be hearers of the word, Father God, but doers of the word also, Father God. Hear our cry this morning, Father God. We need you, Father God. As the song was playing, Father God, what a perfect song for this morning, Father God. 
We do praise you, and we do honor you, and we do worship you, Father God. There is no other God like you. You sit high, and you look low. You reign on the just and the unjust. You have no respect of person. And for that, we say thank you, God. Father God, continue to let the government rest upon your shoulders, Father God. Help them to come up with a firm decision, Father God, that will put our furlough workers back to work, Father God. Father God, touch them, Father God, right now, Father God, wherever they may be, Father God. Touch their minds, touch their hearts. Father God, help them not to be discouraged and oppressed and depressed, Father God, which is very difficult when you don't know how your bills are going to get paid, Father God. So send someone around their way, Father God, that's going to bring in that spiritual energy that they need on this day, Father God. Father God, we ask that you cover the sick and the shut in, Father God. Cover all of those that are mourning the loss of a loved one, Father God. It is not easy to lose one of your loved ones, Father God. So I ask that you would cover them today. Cover those that are sick in the hospital, Father God. Those that got to undergo surgery and undergo a procedure. Those that woke up this morning where their bodies was wrecking in pain, Father God. Touch the sick, Father God. Those that are sick physically, those that are sick mentally, Father God, as our prayer warrior prayed on yesterday. We need you today, Father God. It is in Jesus' precious name that we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. So when the apostles were with Jesus, they kept asking him, Lord, has the time come for you to free Israel and restore our kingdom? He replied, the father alone has the authority to set those dates and times, and they are not for you to know. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witness telling people about me everywhere, in Jerusalem, throughout Judea, and and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. What spiritual energy are you bringing to the room? Have a wonderful, blessed weekend, and love on somebody else as God has already created someone to love on you. Remember to check your temperature. In Jesus' name, amen.